Paul, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, just looking at this standing, yes. Uh, many less conspicuous practices which meet us in the liturg liturgical life of the first three centuries. Mm -hmm. Abolution, yes, though I would think it's absolution, but entire or partial. Mm -hmm. Before entering the place of meeting, John 13, 1 to 15, Hebrews 10, 22, standing, uh -huh. and not kneeling as the attitude of prayer, Pope. Uh, Luke 18, 11, the arm stretched out, mm -hmm. the face turned towards Quebec of the East, the responsive amen of the congregation to the prayers and benedictions of the elders. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 14, 16. Yeah. Now, there seem to be some judicial functions. Huh? The language of the New Testament shows that the officers of the synagogue exercised, in certain cases, a judicial power. Huh? It is not quite so easy, however, to define the nature of the tribunal and the price, precise limits of its jurisdiction. <laughs> now, this is, a, this is an odd concept, the limits of jurisdiction. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to be any limitations of the jurisdiction of the court. Oh. Now, um, I know you're Brent Baker. He's doing right now. You do not think that there is any limits of jurisdiction of the court. Yes. When I have shown, yes, that there are forgeries. Yes. Now, what happens when the court has unlimited jurisdiction? Yes. Mm -hmm. There could be certain violations of these rights. Yes. Now, this limits of jurisdiction, the precise limits of a district court. Yes. How about a superior court, Judge Rohr? <laughs> Let's see. What limits the jurisdiction? Mm -hmm. Listen, you dumb fuckers. Okay. You believe you have unlimited jurisdiction.